Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. While pride is considered a serious sin, it is not always a bad thing to be prideful about your work ethic, as long as it doesn't make you arrogant and lead you into temptation. Yes, Father. Let me tell you the story of two men. This is a story of where pride led to arrogance and betrayal. It's the story of Abraham and Isaac, two friends who owned restaurants. Abraham owned one restaurant, very good restaurant. The locals loved it. It had a personal touch. Isaac owned three restaurants. They agreed with one another that they should form a partnership. And that would be good for all of the eateries. But that's not what happened. No, because Isaac became greedy. Uh, he gave Abraham a contract that was filled with legal clauses that were not in Abraham's interest. Uh, being the trusting soul that he was, Abraham did not get a lawyer to overlook it and just signed the contract, never suspecting that his old friend Isaac would ever swindle him. It came to pass that indeed Abraham was swindled out of his restaurant. Isaac took advantage of him, and in the end, Abraham had to sell his restaurant to Isaac at a fraction of the cost of its actual value. Be a man! Abraham had nowhere to turn. All he could do was appeal to God. And God does not appreciate this kind of behavior. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods. I understand, Father. All right. My son, for your penance, I give you three Hail Marys and four Our Fathers and advise you to sit in the middle of the third pew. There you shall have the plenitude of forgiveness for your penance and for your good works. Go now and sin no more. Thank you, Father. Yes, my son.
What the fuck? Sorry, sir. Hey, can't you read the sign? We're close. I understand. I'm really sorry to bother you, man. I just been been walking around for quite some time, and I got a little lost. Your place was the first place I seen with the lights on. Hey, man, I told you we're close. Yeah, I understand that, my man. I'm just really, really thirsty. I was just hoping you can give me a glass of water. I I'll pay for it. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry it up, I want to get out of here. Oh, man, how much are you? You don't owe me anything. Now, hit the road, will you? Yeah, oh, I'm good. Now, don't let the door hit you on your way out. Mr. Friedman, I'm so sorry. I really need to talk to you about my check. I only told you I'm not the fucking bank. I don't do loans. Yeah, you're not. Look, you're not only a lazy bitch, I but have... you don't fucking listen. That's not my problem, Stephanie. I do whatever you ask, please. So let me get this straight. You don't have a father, no grandparents, no aunts, uncles, no family at all, and you don't go to school. I guess. My mom homeschools me, and when she has to go to work, I stay at home or get dropped off at the playground. You know you can't stay here, right? But you brought me here. Don't be a smart ass. You're not supposed to curse. Your mom never cursed? She did, but she was trying to stop. She said it was an addition. You mean addiction? Yeah. Cursing is not an addiction. Well, that's what she said it was. She was trying to stop so she could set an example for me. Is, is my mom dead? Enough with the questions. In fact, that's one of the rules you need to follow, OK? Don't ask questions. You understand? Do you understand? I guess you can stay here, but only tonight. Can you at least tell me a bedtime story?
There was uh, these two restaurant owners. Uh, one of them betrayed the other then. That's the story? Who told you that story? Yeah, I go to sleep. Wait, can you tell me another story? Good night. Fight. No mercy! You're going to be doing God's work now, son. And your father will be fine. Everything is fine. We serve God and execute the ones who do wrong. In this gift, you will find money, photos, time, and location in the way God has called for you. We shall not question, question God's way. And, and never share or tell. tell about our doing. Get up now! Get up! Get up! Thank you! Or risk the punishment of the Almighty. Everything okay? Yeah. Did you break a glass? <laughs> Why? It helps me relax. Why am I on a garbage bag? <gasps> Should I be on your couch? No. Then why am I? What's the rule? Get over here. What's the rule? No questions. When I get upset, I think of good memories, and that really relaxes me. I don't have any good memories. Everyone at least has one. Not me. Sit down. Thank you, Father, for seeing me. How can I help you, my good man? Uh, it's about uh, the situation that I need taken care of. See. Did you bring the information that I asked you for? I think we can be of some help. Thank you, Father. Thank you. 
Go with God. your will in the Almighty's glory. Where are you going? Work. What do you do for work? It's none of your business. Aren't you dropping me off at the playground? Later. Listen, don't make any noise. Don't play the TV too loud. If anyone comes to the door, pretend like you didn't hear it. No one needs to know you're here. Why? I'll be back. How was your day today, my son? It was good. Successful, father. Very good. Any problems? There was a kid uh, waiting outside for his mom. He lost her inside, so today. took him home for so the night. Casualties were minimal. Mm. However, there have been reports well, we could have taken him in as we took you in. Officer Smith, what can you I thought about that, about Father, but he's a, he's a weak kid. Yes, I, uh, and on top of it, he has family that would have missed him, so I, was, I thought it'd be best if I just take him home to them. Too bad. All right. Let me tell you the story of a man named Nick who was in a big law firm and who would use any method he could devise for advancement. He had no compunctions about doing things illegal and immoral so that he could rise up the ladder. He had another failing, that of campaigning for one-night escapades with women. It came to pass that one of these episodes turned into a longer lasting thing. And the terrible thing was that she was the wife of one of the partners in the law firm. Her husband, Eric, seeing that his wife was pulling away from him, hired a private investigator. And the private investigator gave him proof of his wife's infidelities. So he had no option but to turn to God. And God disapproves of this kind of behavior mightily. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. I understand, Father. Very good. For your penance, I give you two Hail Marys and three Our Fathers. And you would be well advised to sit in the second pew, closer to God, in the center section, in the middle. Go with God. Say no more. Hey, you live in 1202, right? Yeah. Yeah, I live in the apartment across from you. I know.
I promise I didn't turn the TV too loud. Good. Did you take a shower? I'm not dirty. Go take a shower and leave your clothes outside the bathroom. Fine. Dry, come here. Put Put this on. Turn around. What? What is it? What is that? I'm gonna put this in your pocket, okay? What is it? It's a gift. Turn around, let's go. Why don't you have any pets? Do you work a lot? Do you think you can't take care of a dog or a cat? Maybe we could get a fish. Or maybe a bird? do for work? Are you a doctor, lawyer, fireman? It's probably a job where you work long hours, which is why you don't have any pets in a messy apartment. I can stay with you if you want. I can be helpful around the house. Then you won't have to do it yourself or hire a maid. I'm dropping you off at the bus stop. If a cop or someone asks you what happened, tell them exactly what went down yesterday at the restaurant. You lost your mom and you have nowhere to stay. You could even tell them a black man took you to his house, gave you food and money, but that's it, capiche? What's capiche? Do you understand? But I don't want to go. I want to stay with you. You can't stay with me. I don't like company. I don't like kids. Nobody likes me. Hey. I'm sure a lot of people like you. I just like to be alone. It has nothing to do with you. Come on, let's go. Sit down. You remember what I said? Good luck, kid. I didn't know I was coming back. I did. My mom said it was called int into in intuition. Yeah, that. Anyway, I promise I'll be good. Listen, you're gonna stay another night or two? Because make no mistake, this isn't permanent. There's a couple of rules you need to follow. One, no questions. Non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. Two, there's no toys, no cartoons. And three, you eat what I give you. There's no menu. You got it? Got it. Yeah. Walk. Hey, neighbor. I didn't know you had a kid. I don't. I'm just uh, watching him for a couple days. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Hi. I'm Tara. I'm Matthew. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, cutie. Um, I don't mean to be rude, but I've got an audition to get to. Maybe I'll see you guys around. 
She's nice. Rule number four, no talking to the neighbors. I have to go to work. But you just went to work. I have to go back to work. You didn't finish before you came home? I have to deal with you first. But what kind of work are you able to do that you can leave and go back whenever you want to? It's dangerous, and I don't want to talk about it. Is it like a soldier? <laughs> yeah, exactly like a soldier. I want to be a soldier. You're too young. But I watched a lot of soldier movies. Trust me, you don't want to do what I do. How do you know that? If you want to stay here until I figure out what to do with you, you have to just stop with all the questions. I know you're curious, honey kid. Can you at least come up with a certain number of questions I can ask a day? Fine, but not too many. How many is too many? Kid. Fine. I'll stay home and clean when you and you. No, no. Don't touch nothing in my house. I like it just the way it is. Just sit here, watch TV, and don't do nothing else. But it's just the news. So? I'm six. You're never too young to start learning about your current events. Now sit here and watch TV. Don't touch nothing else. Fine. Hey, babe, what's up? Why? What's what's going on? Hold on. What are you what are you talking about? My boss? How did he find out? Shit. All right, all right. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You want some money? Forgive me, I'm sorry. What's in my deal? Turns. Close your eyes. Pray with me. Pray with you. What are you talking about? Pray that ye may be sincere and without offense to the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness.
The second I walked through the door and already with the questions. Wait. I made you dinner. You made me what? Dinner. Ta da! You expect me to eat this? Yeah, it's everything I could find in the kitchen. This don't look edible. Everything in the kitchen's edible. Not all mixed together like this. Look at this mess. Didn't I tell you to just sit down and watch TV? I was just trying to help. Come on. We'll go out and eat. You a big pizza fan? This is my favorite. If I knew this would have took to get you to stop talking, I'd have brought you here yesterday. My mom used to take me to eat pizza all the time. I miss my mom. We would also play together all the time. What y'all used to do? She would read to me, or we would play with my toys, but usually we would play games. Like what? The usual candy land, goldfish, and my favorite was Battleship. I never played that one. Really? It's awesome. If you want me to play tonight. It's too late. I don't have that game anyway. Um, we can use the stuff around the house. Games don't interest me. Why not? They just don't. But I really like games. They're so much fun. I don't. But if you don't play with me, who will? Use your imagination, kid. I'm sure you think of a game you can play by yourself. <laughs> what? This is how we play Battleship. You tell me a number and a letter. And if you land on my battleship, I tell you exploded a part of my ship. And if you miss, it's my turn. And if you explode my whole ship, I tell you you sunk my battleship. Kid, this is way too complicated. You sure this is a game? Yeah, really. I used to have it. I don't believe it. Come on, it's going to be fun. It's never fun when you're being blackmailed. Blackmailed? What does that mean? When someone forces you into doing something against your will. I didn't blackmail you. You knew what you was doing, asking all those questions at the pizza place. You knew I'd say yes to a game if you shut up. Don't worry, you'll get better with practice. Yeah, we'll see. I'll be back. And don't look at none of my shit. Matthew! Matthew! What happened? Nothing. No one starts crying for no reason. My mom used to tell me not to cheat when she went to the restroom. I miss my mom. You know, I didn't really know my mom growing up. She passed away giving birth to me. 
That's sad. What about your dad? I have very little memories of him. Why? He left me at a young age. That's sad, too. Then who raised you? I was raised in a church. A priest named Father Antonio took care of me, took me in, taught me how to do God's work. You're a soldier that works for God. Yeah, sort of. I want to tell you something. Sometimes when you're feeling sad and down, good thoughts actually lift you up and make you happier. Hey, I told you that. It's good advice. So those memories you have of your mom, you got to hold on to them. And remember, soldiers never cry. I will be a good soldier, and they won't cry. And I found out how to kill my mom and kill them back. So, you want to finish Battleship? Oh, no. Had enough of your cheating for one night. No, Billy, really, I wasn't cheating. Yes, you was. I said 5A like three times. One time you said yes, another time you said no. Really? I know you wasn't telling me the truth. Really? I wasn't cheating. <laughs> nah, not tonight. And besides, I got a long day tomorrow. I need to sleep on and figure out my strategy and I'm gonna beat you. You'll never beat me. I rock this game. We'll see. So, you ready to go? You're going to leave me here with no food again? What are you talking about? There's plenty of food. The food you have here is disgusting. It's healthy. Find something in here to eat. I gotta go. Hey, kid, you got enough money for all of that? If I didn't, what if I put all this stuff in the car? Oh, you know, I just don't want to go and ring all this up and then have to void it in the end. Got any more questions? Mmm, <laughs> you should be in school, shouldn't you? School holiday. Mm. Yeah, which one? You asked too many questions. Oh, now get it. Hey, cutie. Hey. You shopping all by yourself? I was just wondering that myself. Oh, well, he lives in my building. Although you probably couldn't tell because he's not being very friendly. <laughs> Kyle told me not to talk to the neighbor. How come? I don't know. Probably doesn't want me to annoy them or something. Well, how are you going to get all that home by yourself? Look, I bet he wouldn't mind you talking to me long enough until we get this home, right? So your parents went on vacation, huh? Yeah. I haven't been on vacation in years. What? How come? Well, leading the life of a starving artist doesn't give you much money. You're hungry? You can come eat with me. 
No, a starving artist is someone who wants to work in entertainment and doesn't have a good paying job while they wait for their big break. Why would anyone want to think of that? I'm starting to ask myself that every day. I want to be a soldier when I grow up. Isn't that a bit dangerous? I know, but I'm going to be a good one. So you decided to skip police officer and cowboy and just go straight for soldier, huh? I dig it. it shows a lot of character. Whose character? Character is the traits and qualities that make you, you. Like shopping by yourself in the store. That makes you independent. And um, asking a girl if she's hungry and wants something to eat, well, that's kindness. You know, you're well on your way to becoming a good man, Matthew. I dig it. <laughs> Remember to pray, son. Where'd you get the food? I went to the store. You make one of your inedible messes again? You should probably be more encouraging. Don't be mad at him. We ran into each other at the store. He needed some help with his back. It's not my fault. I told her that you told me not to talk to the neighbors. Really, I don't mind. It gets lonely around here. It's nice to have someone to talk to. That's great. Come on, try it. I'm not trying to get food poisoning. I'll try it. Mmm. That's pretty good. I see. I told you it wouldn't be bad. I'm gonna take mine and go now that Kyle's back. Oh, do you have to? I'm sure she got more important things to do, kid. Actually, I don't. It's sad, I know. Look, if you ever need someone to watch him or take him out while he's here, I'd be happy to do it. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. See you guys later. I promise it wasn't my fault. I don't want you talking to the neighbors. But we only talked about stuff we like doing. We didn't talk about my mom. Oh, and that cashier lady, she was asking like a hundred questions. Then I understood why you didn't want me to ask so many questions. So does that mean? Yes, I'll try not to ask so many questions. Good. Oh, and I bought a DVD. But you don't have a DVD player. Who needs a DVD player? I do. I'm getting bored of the news. It's depressing. True, but it's also educational. What kind of DVD did you buy? I know not cartoons. Well... If you want to be a soldier, you can't watch cartoons. Everybody watches cartoons. I didn't. You didn't play games. You didn't watch cartoons. What did you do when you were a kid? I studied. Boring. What are we going to do tonight? I have to go to work. <gasps> you're going to be a soldier again? Can I come? I told you, you're too young and it's too dangerous. If you let me come, I could be very helpful. I don't want you to help. I want you to just stay here and watch the house. Can you do that for me? Yes. This is your mission, Cadet. I need you to stay here, watch the house, make sure no one comes in and steals anything. Can you do that for me? Yes, sir. Can I count on you, Cadet? Aye, aye, Captain. That's a pirate. Oh, I mean, yes, sir. Soldiers always start out with a small task. And if you could do this for me, after a while, I'll give you a more dangerous assignment, OK? OK. OK. Good morning, Father. Good morning, my son. Are you all right? Yeah, why do you ask? You sound different. Wait, what do you mean? I'm, I'm fine. I can tell when something is weighing on your soul. No, I'm, I'm good. It's just, uh, just a little tired, I guess you can say. Why is that? 
I was a couple parties going on in my, in my apartment. Loud neighbors. Well, you must understand that your body is God's body and you have to respect it and get sleep. Yes, Father. Uh, do you have a story for me today? Yes, I do. This is the story of a young boy who was taken in when he had no one and nowhere to turn. He was taken in by a good and holy man who treated him like a son, took care of him, so that he was fed well and taken care of properly. The boy had trust issues, but after a while he came to trust the holy man, and they came very close together, very close. And the young man grew up to be a bright and talented person, someone everyone could be proud of. But then he started to do things that were not in the best interests of the holy man's well-being. He was disloyal. And when God sees disloyalty, he knows it. And he will punish. Honor thy mother and thy father. I go into the church, sit in the fifth pew, and ask God's wisdom. Feel the Holy Ghost around you. Go with God and sin no more. Yes, Father. Miss Thompson. Is everything okay there? Y yeah, just practicing my moves. Okay, just be careful there. Antonio, it's all lies. Why? I loved him like a son. Oh, God, help me.
Father Antonio. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I need to talk to you about this. You know, we don't discuss anything like that in here. I understand that completely, Father, but this is... No, I don't think you do understand that. We don't discuss anything here. that ye may be sincere and without offense to the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness. safe from any and all burglars. Is everything okay? I'm just tired. Good night.
Where did you get this? I found it when I was cleaning. I told you not to clean the house, didn't I? Didn't I tell you not to clean the house? I'm sorry, but when you came home last night, you looked so sad, so I thought I would do this and to surprise you. But now I just made you feel worse. Listen, I'm sorry for yelling at you, but I already told you not to touch things around here. I'm asking you to listen to me. If you want to be a soldier, you have to listen to your commander. I'm sorry, but at least the house is clean. Thank you, I appreciate it. But you can't do this anymore. Okay? Okay. Did you eat? I was waiting for you. Why don't you get breakfast together while I get ready? Cocoa petals or Fruit Loops? Did you get any cereal without any sugar in it? Blessings. Cherish your roots. Good morning, Father. Good morning, my son. How are you feeling? Not so good, Father. I understand. Yesterday was a terrible day. Do you want to talk about it? No, Father. I understand that there are things that are just out of my control. And I must allow my faith in God to outweigh whatever doubts I may hold. You have doubts. Sometimes. About what? About why we do what we do. Who gets chosen and why. That is only natural, my son. It reminds me of a story I once heard. If you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. None of us have any idea why things happen the way they do. None of us know what God's plan is for us. We can think about it and speculate and pray about it, but in the end, only God knows what his plan is for us. Yes, Father. Because of yesterday's terrible event, I'm going to give you some time to meditate and get right with God. See, it's all right to have doubts as long as you make your peace with the Holy Ghost. I understand, Father. All right, go into the church. Say two Our Fathers and two Hail Marys. Sit in the sixth row in the middle. Receive a gift for your service in God's army and receive God's plenteous benediction. Go now and sin no more. Thank you, Father. Anything I can help you with? I'm looking for clothes for, for a little boy. A little boy? What size? Small. Small. How small? <laughs> I see. What kind of clothes are you looking for? Something soldier-like. Did you know three out of five people are diagnosed with cancer and two of them usually die from the disease? See, that's what happens when I don't get to watch cartoons. I learn depressing statics. Statistics? Yeah, that. What you got there? Oh, nothing. Just something for you. Really, really? Can I see? What is it? Can I see it? You want me to take it back? No, no, thank you. I figured the only way to know if you cheat means if I get the actual game. I wasn't cheating. Yeah, we'll see about that soon enough. And I figure, you know, I should learn some decent stories to tell you. Yeah, you do. Yours were terrible. They wasn't that bad. They were the worst. 
course. So, think you have some time to play? Actually, I got a couple days off. Looks like I have enough time to learn how to beat you after all. You'll never beat me. Oh, never, huh? Come on, let's see about that. You ready? Let's do this. He found that he could not get out again. After he had been in a well a long time, a thirsty goat came by. The goat thought the fox had gone down to drink, and so he asked if the water was good. The finest in the whole country, said the crafty fox. Jump in and try it. There is more than enough for the both of us. I guess it's going to be weird now when his folks get back. Yeah. When do they get back, anyway? They actually uh, extended their trip for a few more days, so. Oh, cool. What? No, nothing. It's just, I just realized I've gotten to know you better in the past two days than I have in the entire two years you've lived here. Nothing worth knowing, Terrence. It's, it's really not. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Uh. Sir, I think you're a great girl, and everything is just, um... Gay. What? No, no, no. So there's a secret wife or a girlfriend? Neither. I'm just really not your type. Yeah, everyone's type. I'm just not looking for anyone right now. It was a different time, a different situation. Hey, look, I really hope I didn't just make things awkward between us. Not at all. Okay, good, because I really do want to get to know you better. You're welcome. Blessings, Colin. said if you're going to work. Vacation's been cut short. You have to. When the boss sends for you, there's nothing you can do. I got to go, though, so I'll see you in a bit. My son, thank you for getting here so quickly. You said it was urgent, Father? It is. I'm going to tell you the story of an evil man by the name of Sam. Sam is what is known as a loan shark. You know what that is. I do. He lends money to people at usurious rates and puts them under great stress. They're in need. He lends them money, but the payback is enormous, much more than the original loan. One of his borrowers raised enough money to almost pay this man, Sam, back, but not quite enough. And he knows that if he does not pay him in full, 
By three o'clock today, he puts his family in jeopardy, his wife and his son, as well as himself. I understand, Father. You understand that these people are dear to me? I do. All right. Church, say three, our fathers, two Hail Marys, sit in the second pew and accept God's benediction, his magnificence and plentiful apostolic blessings. Go with God, sin no more. Thank you, Father. A fox fell into a well who it was not very deep. He found that another present for me? No, this one's for me. I need it for work this afternoon. Can I come with you? I just thought if I asked you enough, at some point you would say yes to shut me up. It's not happening, so stop asking. Can you at least drop me off at the playground? Can't Tara take you? Tara has an additional day. Put your jacket on. Be back in a couple of hours. OK. Don't leave and don't talk to anybody. Hello, I'm a pro at this. Goodbye. We got a problem. The boy, he's still out there. We got every department in the FBI looking for him. You need to find him. Otherwise, your whole operation's gonna go down. I can't protect you anymore. You understand? Doing. I have a delivery for Mr. Sam Taylor. Yeah, you can leave it there. All right, perfect. Is that okay if I use the bathroom? Sure. Thank you. There's a package downstairs you need to sign. They won't let me bring it up unless you sign it. Again? He's big, and he's dressed just like me. Nobody here is dressed like oh. you. Let's go. Hey, how did you? Wrong address. Hey, excuse me. Where'd you get these clothes? What was you doing there in the first place? You hear me talking to you? You asked way too many questions. Did you kill him? What'd you say? Did you kill him? Hey. You don't want to be like me. You understand? And when we get home, we got to hurry up and pack because we got to go away. Where are we going? 
Change your clothes. We leave in 10 minutes. You read? My best man. And you lied to me. You took the boy. I was going to tell you about the boy. I just. Oh, no, I know what you were going to do. It's what you should have done. You're going to raise this little child in this squalor, in this awful place? Is that what you're going to do? You should have taken him to me. I would have taken care of him, given him a home. Like you took care of me. Oh. You have complaints? Where do you think you would have ended up if I didn't take you in and take care of you? Huh? You'd be on the street, or worse. I made you a servant of God! And this is how you repay me. You're coming with me, come on. I don't wanna go! Very well. You have exactly one minute. Don't worry. You're not going too far. I'll see you. I thought I was being good. I cleaned and shopped and did everything you asked me to. I even stopped asking so many questions. Yes, you did. So why can't I stay with you? Because you're going to a better place where they can take care of you properly. And they have DVD players so you can actually watch your cartoons. I don't want to watch cartoons. I want to watch the news. I don't care. I just want to stay with you. You can't, kid. I'm not equipped to take care of someone else. Father Antonio, he can help you better than I can. You just want to get rid of me. Tired of me, aren't you? That's the real reason why you wanted me to pack my bags. It's all right. From now on, everything will be all right, son. Not your son. You're upset. Of course, anyone who lost their mother would be upset. I understand that. Do you know how you lost your mother? She was killed. Do you know who killed your mother? It was your friend, Kyle. Sorry to tell you that. But from now on, you will be doing God's work. You'll forget everything and be happy in his bountiful grace. Still want to get to know me better? Father. Hello, boys. We have a problem. What problem? It's Kyle. What's the problem with Kyle? He took the kid. You are to go there now, right now, and do whatever you have to do to get that boy and bring him back here. Father, I can't, I can't. This is not a discussion. I, I... No! Yes, Father.
You sleep all right? You kill my mom! Hey! Relax! Relax! There's not a day that goes by that I don't feel bad about what happened to your mom. When I was your age, I was taken away from my father. Father Antonio told me that I'd be working for God, serving God. So I will go and kill anybody Father Antonio asked me to because I believed that I was killing in the name of God. Then the day came when I had to kill your mother's boss. When you two walked in the restaurant, that day my life changed. I tried to save you and your mom, but I couldn't. I was only able to save you. There's nothing I can do to, to fix what I did. If there is a God, I need to be punished. I've done terrible things in my life. And right now, the only thing I care about is saving yours. But I promise you this, the man responsible for killing your mom is gonna pay for it today. Sit down. That's so cool!
Look what you have done. God will not forgive you for this. And you think he'll forgive you? I'm the Lord's vessel. He speaks through me. His will be done through me. Cut this shit, Father. I see straight through you, the real you, and I'm not buying it anymore. Blasphemer! You old, fake, miserable motherfucker! I will not let you speak that way to me to dishonor me. You're just like your father. What? Did you think you were the first in your family to go through the program? Oh. How do you think I found you? Oh, no. Your father and I went through the program together back when Father Patrick was head of the congregation. I was Father Patrick's favorite. I stood to inherit all of this when he died, and he died, and I inherited all of it. But your father was weak. He was not like the rest of us. He wanted out. And as you very well know, as it was in the case of Johnny, there is really no way out of it. Your this. people, they're the ones who took you from me. But then I took you in and raised you as if you were my son made you someone the organization was so proud of. But ultimately, you're, you're, you're just your father's son. You think I'm gonna let you live with this? I will kill it! <laughs> oh, you're going to kill me. I don't think you're in a position to do anything like that. You know, it'd be a lot better if you just told me where the boy is. You'll never find him. You hear me? There's a lot of places I could still shoot you while I wait for my answer. You got your answer, you coward. Sorry it had to end like this, son. I'm not your son. That ye may be sincere and without offense till the day of the Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness. Go to hell, Say hello to your father on your way to hell. The son of souls is quietly rising. The wind blows in my home. Light shines inside darkness. The end of time. 
within the stars. Sky.